The 2020 NRL Final Series is fast approaching and what better way to build up the anticipation than to look back at some tries that made history and will forever be remembered as a classic rugby league moment. For this list, the try obviously must have been scored in an NRL Final Series, including a Grand Final. And the try scoring team can't already be in the lead, so Steve Jackson's try in the 1989 Grand Final between the Raiders and the Tigers will not be considered for this list as the Raiders were already one point ahead at the time of the try. Nevertheless, this is Greatest Game of All and these are 10 tries that won a team a finals match. Number 10, Chris Inu. The semi-final of the 2011 final series saw the 4th place Tigers take on the 6th place Warriors. With the Tigers leading 18-6 with 32 minutes to go, the Warriors came back to trail by only 2 points. An all or nothing kick from Sean Johnson in the final few minutes of play would decide the match in confusing and unusual circumstances. Knocked down, grabbed. Oh, oh shit. my goodness. Well, now oh, he's saying he's not held. Here we go, Rabs. It's oh. a try! Number 9, John Bateman. The Raiders would shock the minor premiers the Storm in this classic qualifying final in 2019. Melbourne ran out to a 10-6 lead after choosing to have a shot at goal, even though they were already two points ahead. The decision proved to be costly for the Storm, as a lost ball from Josh Adokar would lead to a match-winning try from John Bateman. And it's even better with the commentary from Triple M's Dan Ganane. Certified, no bit of skill. How did he hang on to it? Oh. But now Melbourne have lost it. Lang oh. Miller veers to the right inside. Oh, Bateman, Bateman, wow. yes, yes. Canberra are in front. Canberra will take the lead. Number eight, Eric Gross. A spot in the 1984 New South Wales Rugby League Grand Final was up for grabs as the Eels took on the Dragons at the SCG. The Dragons were clinging on to a three-point lead with three minutes to go, but Parramatta's Brett Kenny set up Eric Groth for an incredible try to send the Eels to the grand final. Price will have a go himself, I think. Now he passes wide to Brett Kenny. Kenny dummies. Kenny, can he pass? He does, he finds Groth. Groth goes for the corner. It's a try. Parramatta's got out of jail. The Eels are out of jail. Groth has scored. Brett Kenny's the man that can turn the game in a twinkling of an eye, and here he's done it. He stood in a tackle. I thought maybe Steve Rogers should have come over the top to finish off the progress of the ball. Kenny got a long ball away to Eric Groth, and once he gets his sights on the sideline, that's on the try line, that's the end of it. And in goes Groth with Rogers clinging to him, planting the ball down for a tremendous Parramatta try. Number seven, Michael Witt. Melbourne's Olympic Park was the venue for this first first eighth qualifying final between the Storm and the Warriors. A field goal from Melbourne's Greg Inglis would give the Storm a one-point lead with 13 minutes to go, with the Storm all but certainly going to hold on and walk on into the preliminary final. The eighth-placed Warriors pulled off a miracle to snatch a victory in one of the biggest upsets in NRL Finals history. Rapati, a fend on Falau, a pass to Vatavai. He goes inside and away from Trump. He gets away from Jeremy Smith. He Michael gets the Witt. ball to Michael Witt. Michael Witt is going to score. What's he doing? Oh. What a down. He's riding at home. He's breathing. Oh! <laughs> He's breathing. Number six, Greg Inglis. Only a week after that huge upset loss against the Warriors, the Storm would get their revenge against the Broncos at Suncorp Stadium. The Brisbane boys had a 12 0 lead with 35 minutes to go, and it looked like the minor premiers would cop their second shock loss in a row. Incredibly, they came back to trail by only two points. The game ticked into the final 90 seconds and a big hit from Melbourne's Sigamanu would dislodge the ball from the hands of Ashton Sims and the Storm would break the hearts of the Broncos to score a try in the final minute of play. It's only the first tackle, the other was a zero. It's gone to Crump, they've got numbers. It's gone oh! to Inglis. Inglis is 
over to score to oh, Unbelievable! The Premiers are back. The Premiers have scored. This is just an amazing, an amazing fight back. Number five, Sean Kenny Dow. In one of the best finals matches of all time, the third place Tigers would take on the sixth place Roosters in the 2010 qualifying final. We have talked about this in other videos, so we all should know that Braith and Nasta hit a field goal on the siren in regular time to tie the game. And the final play of the game resulting in an unexpected finish, but one Roosters fans will save it forever. Payton back to Fulton, intercept, Kenny now, he's got Gibbs to beat, he will beat him, and Sean Kenny now races away and wins the game for the Sydney Roosters. Can you believe it? Number 4, Craig Smith. In only their second season in the newly established NRL competition, the Storm took on the Dragons in the 1999 Grand Final. With 23 minutes remaining, the Dragons were holding on to an 18-6 lead, but the Storm would come back to trail by only 4 points. And, with 4 minutes to go, a try was scored in unusual, controversial, and unexpected circumstances. He gets the ball first, gets hit around the head, and drops the football. And Ray, a penalty try, the conversion is out where the try is scored. He will take the kick from right in, in front. In front, I'm sorry, yes. Yes, he takes the kick from right in front, Peter. Number three, Michael Morgan. A rematch of the 2015 Grand Final saw the Cowboys take on the Broncos a year later in the semi-final. The game saw many lead changes and incredible rugby league skill from both teams. Jonathan Thurston will kick a penalty goal with just over a minute remaining in regular time to tie the game. The extra time period saw one of the greatest finals tries set up by one of the game's greatest players. Thurston with the ball, drifts across field, Thurston decides to win! The skill of this man. What a player he is. Number two, James Tedesco. Incredibly, this try wasn't the biggest talking point of the 2019 Grand Final between the Roosters and the Raiders. Putting the controversy aside, the Grand Final was locked up at eight points all with eight minutes to go. The Roosters' left side attack of Kiri, Mitchell, and Tupo all played massive roles in setting up fullback James Tedesco to score the grand final winning try and give the Roosters back-to-back -back premierships. Eight minutes to go, eight points all. Played to Kiri, veers down the left, short pass Mitchell. Beautiful pass to Tupo, into the backfield. Gives it to the next go! Go! Bye! The Roosters are in front! And number one, Darren Albert. The 1997 ARL Grand Final between Newcastle and Manly saw one of the greatest moments in rugby league history. After leading 16-8 to at half-time, Manly failed to score a point in the second half, which allowed Newcastle to start a comeback and tie the game at 16 all. First Grand Final, 23 years old, hometown kid, 20 seconds on the clock. Andrew Johns has the ball and goes down the blind side from dummy half. He passes to Newcastle winger Darren Albert to score under the sticks which meant, in the famous words of Ray Warren, Newcastle have won the grand final. There's 20 seconds on the clock. Albert, he will play it. 21 metres away. Down the blind, Andrew John. Inside for Albert. Albert will score. Albert will score. Newcastle have won the grand final. Albert is over. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chug us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.